Good day. Welcome. This is your Daily Med with Lady V. Today we are talking a little about Paul the Apostle, the one whom Jesus called and he became such a, a mighty warrior, one who trusted God in delivering the gospel. He was told when the Lord challenged him on his way to Damascus that he would suffer many things for the gospel. And here he is in 2 Corinthians 2 and verse 4. He wrote, he says, verse 7, but we have this treasure in earth and clay to show that this all surpassing power is from God and not from us. We are hard pressed on every side, but not crushed, perplexed, but not in despair, persecuted, but not abandoned, struck down and not destroyed. We always carry around in our body the death of Jesus so that the life of Jesus may be revealed in our body. For we are all, for we are alive, are always being given over to death for Jesus' sake so that his life may also be revealed in our mortal body. So that death is at work in us, but life is at work in you. He says in verse 13, it is written, I believe, therefore I have spoken. Since we have that same spirit of faith, we also believe and therefore speak. Because we know that the one who raised the Lord Jesus from the dead will also raise us with Jesus and present us with you to himself. All this is for your benefit so that the grace that is reaching more and more people will cause thanksgiving to overflow to the glory of God. God. Paul is here saying, whatever I preach, as we can see from the scripture, he preaches what is essence or the essence of his preaching or his message is about the Lord Jesus Christ. That's what his ministry was about. He said he has renounced the secret shameful ways. He says he did not come to the Corinthians to preach to them in way of deception or distortion to the word of God. But he says, I am suffering. I bear a lot of persecution. I bear a lot of pain. Actually, death looms over my head. But in all of this, he says, I do it so that many souls will be saved. And when these souls are saved, they will cause glory to be given to God. So he, he says he suffer without fainting, without complaining. He says even though his outward man, which is his flesh, his body, Maybe suffering or feels pain is inward man is being renewed daily. The apostle is an ideal example for believers. He goes to the extreme no matter what with earnest to pronounce or to proclaim the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ. He does it in extreme negative circumstances. He puts his trust in God and depended upon his power. 
This is the same Apostle Paul in Philippians 4 verse 13 that says, I can do all things because God gives me the strength. So he says when he is hard pressed on every side, he is not crushed. When he is perplexed, he does not despair. When persecution is upon him, he, had, he has confident that the Lord is God has not abandoned him. The very God that says, I will never leave you nor forsake you, but will be with you even to the end of the age. So he knew that. He stares death in the face daily because of the persecutions and the sufferings that comes his way just for him to proclaim the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ. So he says, when death is looming over me, you know what? It is life for you all because it is about the revelation. It is to reveal to you who Jesus Christ is. So this is his attitude that he has towards persecution. Is he defeated? No. Is he discouraged? No. Is he dismayed? No. His faith is in the risen Lord, the one whom he met on the way to Damascus. And this encourages him and in able him to go on preaching the gospel he knew that beyond the sufferings in this life lies unspeakable glory he borrowed from the psalmist in psalm 116 verse 10 where the psalmist says i believe and therefore i spoke Paul the Apostle trusted the Lord and he spoke and whatsoever he said was the result of the deep-seated faith that he has in the Lord Jesus Christ. He reminded the Corinthians that it was through his constant sufferings that he the gospel to them. He says many of the things I didn't even tell you. They are untold sufferings and hardship. He says, but I endure them so that I could take the good news of the gospel to you. And he's even saying to them, it is worth it. You know why? Because you have now come to put your trust in the Lord Jesus Christ. And you now have eternal life. So he is saying, my ministry amidst the suffering and the persecutions and the trial, my ministry benefited you to whom I am speaking today. He was speaking to the Corinthians. So his afflictions and his persecutions didn't allow his lips to be sealed. Wherever the Apostle Paul goes, he preached Jesus Christ, the one who was crucified, the one who died, the one who was buried, the one who rose again, the one who is ascended at the right hand of the Father, and the one who is coming back in like manner as he left. So yes, he has true faith and where there is true faith there must be an expression of it we cannot be silent towards or about our faith that we have in the lord jesus christ so to my fellow believers let us continue speaking the word of god let us continue to let others know that we have placed our faith and our confidence in him. 
and amidst what goes on in life we can continue to trust him and continue to spread the good news of the gospel of jesus christ the apostle paul's pain and suffering and trials and persecution did not stop him from taking the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ to those who were in darkness, to those who need the light, to those who were lost. So today, if on Jesus Christ you trust, speak for him, you surely must. Do it is humble as to the dust if you love him just say so if on jesus you believe and the savior you have received least you should the spirit grieve don't delay just say so to those who have not yet trusted the Lord as Savior. Today you can put your trust and your confidence in him. Knowing that Jesus Christ came to this earth all because of the love of his Father. As St. John 3 and verse 16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever, whosoever believeth in him, should not perish but have everlasting life the corinthians heard the truth of the word of god and they believe and so today you can believe and receive eternal life god bless you and thank you again for watching